What is going on YouTube? Modsville USA here back with uh, part four in this series where we took a junk not working original Xbox and we modded it and now we're going to put the final touches and upgrade the hard drive to a two terabyte and uh, fully deck it out. Now I've already gone ahead and taken out the hard drive uh, as well as the DVD drive here and what we are going to be doing is replacing this crappy IDE cable 40 wire IDE cable with a nice 80 wire IDE cable we're going to be installing this IDE to SATA adapter as well as this two terabyte um, hard drive here. Now, I'm not going from scratch. I've got this original Xbox uh, master drive that I've set up, and I use this HDD dock to clone it. If you're going from uh, scratch and you want to see a video of me doing all this from scratch, uh, let me know down in the comments. I'd be uh, might be down to make a video like that in the future but this is you know just me going through the process of uh, taking a junk Xbox and turning it into something pretty sweet um, but yeah for the most part um, if you have Evo X and you just hook a hard drive up to it with the hexen disk in there uh, you just start it up and you will be get a prompt to format it and from there you just FTP everything over and you are good but that is for a different time if you want to see a video like that so let's start by taking out this crappy IDE cable here easy I'm gonna put this guy in now these cables are pretty dirt cheap on Amazon. Um, they're even dirtier cheap on AliExpress or eBay. If you are patient, I am not. I just typically get them on Prime. That's fine. Whatever you want to do. If you want to load up, you might as well get them from China. 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 Okay, now here is the SATA adapter. Now the problem with this out of the box is everything is exposed. So if we were to just plug this in regularly, um, be taking a pretty high risk of everything shorting out eventually. So what I'm going to do is get some electrical tape, cover up any of these exposed contacts here, and um, probably use some double-sided tape. You could just use, um, just connect it, use some packing tape just to make sure it stays connected. Um, but yeah, I want to secure it as much as I possibly can. So let me go get some electrical tape and uh, some double-sided tape, some packing tape, all that stuff just to make sure this guy stays plugged in. All right, guys, so I added some electrical tape, covered all those contacts, and I applied some double-sided tape to this. Uh, the electrical tape, I would say, is necessary, the double-sided tape. I'm just, it's optional. I'm just trying to make this as secure as possible. So eventually we will be pulling this, and then pl this plugs in the hard drive, and hopefully this will keep it secure. And we're, I'm also going to add some uh, packing tape uh, connecting this to the hard drive as well just try to secure it as much as possible because it is without anything like that it's super easy for um, for the SATA adapter to become disconnected to the hard drive now this is um, we're, what we're gonna do now is swap this drive out with that two terabyte it's just four torque screws pretty simple stuff I got this nice little little gadget here that I've had for years. So I'm just gonna swap that 
right now real fast all right so we've got the two terabyte hooked up to this little plastic doodad here and now it's just a matter of putting everything back together so let's start with the DVD drive here oh and the way you want this to go is um, the shorter spacing on the IDE cable like this is a shorter distance here this is what plugs in if you try the other way it, it just won't reach pretty simple pretty simple basic bullshit there all right so this needs to rotate this way that hair needs to get out of there Okay, that's hooked up. I'm just gonna put these guys off to the side. We're in a testing phase now, so we're not really gonna worry about cable management all that much. It is on the mind though. Okay, now with this, I have to fit these cables through here. I'm gonna try to get everything lined up perfectly. Yeah, yeah, that's in there. That's in there pretty good. Now, last but not least, we gotta hook this up to the adapter, this guy, and goes this way. Let's hook this guy up first. Pop. All right. And let's see. Do we want it to go? I think uh, I think we would like it to go under. This seems that seems right, huh? Now, ideally, you want to get this set up with the least amount of like tension for it to be like pulling. Attempting to pull the uh, the adapter out, if that makes any sense. Like you don't want it. It's a little tough to route it, but that is the idea. So uh, this guy's going under the cable. We just want the least amount of the cable trying to rip the adapter out. Now I'm doing this blind, probably not the best way, I'm just trying to feel for the sake of the video. Ideally you want to like look at it and like try to line it up, um, but on camera that, that's a little, a little tough. Well. Yeah, I'm gonna I wanna take a peek here. I gotta see what I'm doing. Mm. Okay.
Okay. Cool. Alright, so there it is. It's plugged in. It's not completely secured yet. Uh, we're going to do a bit of testing first to make sure everything's running up to snuff. Now I have noticed, um, at least with the cloning thing, that certain drives, certain 2 terabyte drives just don't seem to uh, like the Xbox. I've had good luck with, um, what is this brand, HGST, you can get, go ahead and grab a Seagate if you want to spend a bit more. WD should be good. We'll see about this Hitachi though. I'm not 100%. If this is good or not or whatever, we shall see. Okay, so it's turning on. Hell yeah. She lives, dudes. So I'll show you around my nice little, uh, my nice little setup here. Just a moment. Oh, also, it's worth mentioning, it's, you should know it's working. It's hard to tell because I have this folded and I don't want to go around touching in there too much. Um, but there is a red LED. So if you're not seeing that, um, and you're getting an error, like a, it's not booting up, you're getting like an error uh, and a number or whatever, that means your hard drive's not connected, it's not working properly. You wanna make sure you see that red LED when you have this all hooked up. So since this is working, you can already tell this is working pretty good. I'm going to unplug this guy. I want to unplug this one more time here and I'm going to remove that double-sided tape or not remove the tape but remove the uh, you know the paper on the back I want to get I want to stick this guy in okay There we go. Mm. Okay.
Okay, now uh, final touches here for securing it. Got some fingerprints on this, whatever. I'm gonna tape it down again with this packing tape. Check it out, yeah, that doesn't seem to be going anywhere. We're gonna hook it in right here. Tuck this guy under. And a, the big thing to note is right here. That's where the top shell comes in and connects and then a screw, uh, screw goes through that. So whatever you do, don't have your IDE cable covering this because you'll be trying to mash it in. And all it's gonna be doing is destroying the cable. Um, then you're gonna have to buy another one. I made that, I learned that one the hard way pretty early on. <laughs> uh, don't make that same mistake. It's not the end of the world. You would just need to get a new cable, but you know, you don't want to destroy your cable, especially if you've already waited for it to show up. So I'm turning it back on, testing this sucker out again. Hopefully it's connected because it's all secured. It's looking good. Let's get these lights off the off the screen there. Beautiful. Okay, well, I'm going to get a controller set up and show you around my nice little XBMC for gamers uh, setup here because it's pretty dope. All right, so I've got my OG Xbox 360 hooked up with an 8-bit dough adapter and an Xbox One controller. Uh, I've got a separate video coming out about this thing uh, very soon. It is fucking amazing. I love this. Um, the original Xbox controllers kind of suck, in my opinion. Love this. I mostly like playing Tony Hawk on the original Xbox, and the, this D-pad makes it very, very nice to do. Okay, as you can see, this is working. Check that out, dudes. So I'm going to go to user one. Got a little fat kid with a spoon on his nose. And this is going to be fairly brief. If you want to see a full-on showcase of this Xbox, let me know in the comments and I'll uh, get on it, dude. But yeah, as you can see, we've got pretty much the entire U.S. library, uh, except for some sports games, because uh, whatever, got to cut some corners somewhere, and those are the first to go for me. So if we hit B once we're in there, we go back and we get these other tabs here. We got the homebrew, we got the emulators, we've got the application. So if we go in the emulators here, we got coin ops, um, we got a Nintendo one. Game Boy N64. The coin ops are crazy. So Premium Ninja Massive is another version of coin ops. Really clean UI. I'll show you guys all that um, in another video if you would like. Just for now, we're going back. Back to the games here. Now, if we go. How does this work again? Okay, yeah, if I go D-pad down, then we get a nice, faster way to browse through all of it, because it's a lot. There's a lot of games here. I'm gonna go to the T's, and then D-pad up to browse slowly. Tony Hawk 2X, what's up? Hitting a and that really was like the volume what you would have heard before I got this nicer mic that's like clipped to my jacket here from my phone um, the audio was so messed up because the hard drive on this thing the original hard drive was like sounded like a jet engine and now that this thing's hooked up there 
this console is essentially silent, which is very nice. It's um, I feel like we were racing the clock getting this thing t because, uh, you know, you don't usually hear a hard drive sounding like a jet engine. That's unusual. Can't be good. All right, let's go um, Jeff Rowley. Look at those low times, dudes. Look at that. Whoop. Oh, bullshit. I'm going to restry it. I call bullshit on that. Okay, I got some speed here. Bullshit, I call bullshit. <laughs> I just called it. I've spoken. There we go. That's a that's a line right there. Six score already. Hell yeah. This feels good, man. Bullshit. Well, that's it, dudes. That is the, um, that is the OG Xbox. Gone from, uh, completely trashed with no power to decked out with a two terabyte hard drive. Now I'm rock rocking this Tony Hawk with an Xbox One controller because the future is crazy. Um, yeah, I know there's no cure for the, uh, for the coronavirus yet, but this is pretty close. You know what? I think this might be it. Potentially. Potentially. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Mm, look at that score. Look at that score. What's up? What's up? Now there might be one more. I'm thinking about it right now. Uh, might be one more video. Just putting the final touches on it and cleaning up this shell. Um, making it look decent because to begin with it looked like shit so uh, I think there might be one more I'm trying to just make this guy look as look as pretty as possible you know but leave a like if you've enjoyed this series I know the views are probably um, I've po at the time I'm filming this I've only posted part one um, nobody really seems that interested but you know what series I want to make so uh, fuck it maybe it'll uh, pick up down the line and uh, some of you guys might might dig it but uh, leave a like it's greatly appreciated it definitely helps out uh, gets gets the video promoted and all that and I would appreciate you if you did subscribe for more console modding content we're all over the place we mod all sorts of consoles and I might be doing a news segment coming up just then you guys know all the upcoming mods and hacks and whatever for the various consoles coming out so uh, stay tuned Mozville USA signing out bye bye